Welcome to Tech Results with Dame. In this video, we are going to learn about range operator. Range operator is used to generate a single column table of values. So here is the syntax and we are going to show you in the demo. So let's go ahead and take a look in the real time how you will be using range operator. So you will be saying range, then provide the name of the column. So in this case, steps is the name of the column I would like to create. And then I will say from starting point, that's one and ending at eight. And each step is going to be one. So let's go ahead and execute this query and you're going to see some results. So see here, that's a column that's a generated and it's starting with one, ending with eight and each time it's jumping one after one. Now, if I will do two, what's going to happen? The starting and ending point is going to create the range between two to eight, but each time two will be added to it. So that's how it is going to be. So you see right there, one starting, then after that it's going to add two to one three then add two again make it five then add two and make it a seven so as uh, if we go, it go to the next one that's going to be nine but at we are ending at eight so that's why it's not showing it okay so you got the idea how it work now let's uh, uh, implement with the summer date and time and all those kind of things. So let's say you want to create uh, seven days uh, of a week. Uh, you can do something like that. So range last week from ago. So it means uh, starting seven days ago and uh, till today. Okay. And step by one day. So execute this and you can see that it start from last week and ending today. Now, if I want to do further, maybe I can do minutes or something like that. I can also do that as well. So I created the range. Then also I add step by one minute. You can see right there. So 27, uh, uh, 102, 103, 104, 5, 6, 7 and keep going. So this is one of the way to create a different range for time. Now, if uh, we want to create uh, just the even numbers, so let's say we want to start from two and uh, go to thousand by step two, and uh, this is going to create uh, a range uh, of numbers. So those are even numbers for us. Uh, so starting with two and ending with the hundred. Uh, same way, if we want to create uh, odd numbers, that's fine. You will start with one and uh, add step by two and end with the hundred. Um, so it's not going to create a uh, hundred for you because the hundred is not. Uh, uh, an odd number so it goes 99 and then uh, that's it so let's uh, create a uh, our table called customer table and uh, in this customer table what we are going to do we are going to have some records um, so let's uh, create a customer table with customer id and name and i'm inserting a uh, customer id one two three four five and uh, some records there so let's uh, execute a uh, create statement now we created a and inserted some data here and now what I'm going to do I'm going to just show you the data so customer uh, just type that table name and uh, execute this uh, statement uh, now we see that uh, we have customer IDs and then we have a name of that uh, now if I want to get only the records uh, for odd IDs uh, I can do that so first of all I will be creating a, a range uh, uh, that will be customer IDs and uh, starting from one and ending with five and I will be stepping with two So let's see. This is a uh, creating us uh, three IDs. Uh, those are odd IDs uh. Now what I did uh, I join uh, and I did the kind inner join uh, with the customer table and uh, Then uh, left dot customer ID as uh, we have customer ID and uh, then uh, what we have right dot customer ID Okay, so we join on this customer IDs from here and this ID and what we are going to do, we are project, we are displaying a customer ID and name. Okay, so if I run this together, what's going to happen? First query is going to generate a one, two, three, well, sorry, one, three, five, and then join with these records and it's going to display all only the records, one Amir, three Lisa, and five Robert. So this is how you can uh, create different ranges using the joins and wherever you need uh, for filtering, filtering the records or you know depending on different scenarios you might need them. Uh, so I hope uh, this range function uh, will help you regenerate the different ranges of uh, numbers and time uh, uh, and uh, using your acoustic queries for analysis. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys uh, in next video.